Hello everyone, this is Elena from We Learn to Share, and in this video, we're going to cover the third question of the AP Statistics 2021 FAQ. Now, let's read the question. To increase morale among employees, a company began a program in which one employee is randomly selected, randomly selected each week to receive a gift card. Each of the company's 200 employees is equally likely to be selected each week and the same employee could be selected more than once. Each week's selection is independent from every other week. Question A. Consider the probability that a particular employee receives at least one gift card in a 20 in a 52 week year. One, define the random variable of interest and state how the random variable is distributed. Well, let's say a random variable X stands for the number of gift cards an employee from this company can, I mean, like, will receive uh, will receive in a 52 week year. And this random variable x will be a binomial random variable for of course. Why? Because the situation itself that is given in the question is binary. What I mean by this is that you have two results, right? Um, you can either get selected and receive a gift card or you will rather not be selected and not receive a gift card, which means that you have two outcomes over here whether you succeed where there's a success so you receive a card or um you fail and you don't receive a card and also from the question we can we can see that every trial is independent and also all employees are equally likely to be selected, which means that there is the um, same probability of success or like getting selected and receiving a gift card. And lastly, it says that um, they are giving out this, this um, gift card each week in, in the 52 week year. So, um, so the total number of trials number of trials is fixed to this 52 week. Moving on. Determine the probability that a particular employee receives at least one gift card in a 52 week year. Show your work. Well, so we we're trying to get um, the probability of an employee receiving at least one gift card. If you if you see this wording, at least one gift card, this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna get the probability x is bigger than 1 and this means that you need you can also subtract the probability of you receiving zero gift cards out of 1 from 1 right this this is equivalent right so um getting the probability of you getting more than one cards and um subtracting from 1 the probability that you receive no cards it's the, it will be the same so for this the equation you can write is 1 minus the 2c0 1 over 200 because this is the probability that you can get uh, that you will be selected out of the 200 employees over here but you don't want this to be counted in this in this calculation so you're going to write 0 over here and the probability of not getting selected to be the case, okay, so 52. <clears throat> if you calculate this, this will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.771, which is equal to 0 0.229. So this will be the probability for a particular employee to receive at least one gift card in a 52-week year. Next question. Calculate and interpret. You need to like also always remember these kind of instructions in the question. To calculate and also interpret the expect expected value for the number of gift cards a particular employee will receive in the 52 week year. Show your work. So, we're going to get the expected value, which is the same as the mean, right? And then the binomial distribution 
um, you will the the equation that you're going to use is NP, which where N stands for the number of trials, and P stands for the probability of success. So over here it it will be you you will have you will do this for fifty two weeks, so fifty two times. The probability of getting success is this. So if we calculate this, this will be equal to. 2.26 and don't forget to interpret this expected value right every time you interpret the expected value you have to have a keyword which would be on average or like something like um after lots of trials right you, you need to include these phrases inside inside your interpretation so interpretation for this value over here would be that um over numerous trials, over numerous like weeks, or, like trials, or like yeah, some of those stuff, the number of gift cards, one per year, or like received per year by an employee from this company will be this 0 0.26 on average or like on general this will be your interpretation last question suppose that agatha an employee at the company never receives a gift card for an entire 52 week year based on her experience that does agatha have a strong argument that the selection process was not truly random explain your answer well, it might seem kind of tricky, but it is still okay because, again, this is a big no. And why? Because just because the process was random, it does not guarantee that you will be 100% selected. Because there is a probability of you getting, you getting selected even if the um, selection process was random or not. In other words, um, we just saw over here that this possibility of you receiving no gift cards at all is equal to this and this is equal to 0 0.771 which means that even if the um even if the selection process was fair uh and it was truly random there still is a 0 0.771 probability that um that an employee or Agatha over here will not receive a gift card, right? And you can see that 0 0.771 would be like about to like 78%, which is very close to like 80%, right? And this much probability out of 100 or this much, this much, I mean, this much percentage out of 100, or this much of probability out of 1, is pretty big, right? And so, because this probability is pretty big enough, um, Agatha does not have a strong argument that the selection process was not fair okay so this is the end of the video and thank you for watching and don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel see you in the next video